In the world of firearms, there are a seemingly infinite number of choices to be made. One of the most important choices you'll make is what type of frame you want for your gun. Metal framed semi-auto pistols are becoming increasingly popular, but there are so many different options on the market. So which one is right for you? To aid your selection process, we've compiled a comprehensive list of the top six metal framed semi-auto pistols, including their essential features and factors to consider in making the best choice for your needs. For an in-depth analysis and a handy comparison tool, visit our website at gunsyoucantlivewithout.com. Number 6. Walther Q4SF Walther Arms has released their premium carry offering, the Q4 steel frame, which was built specifically for carry. This model is a deviation from their previous Q5 Match SF, a steel frame pistol aimed at competitive shooting. Unlike the Q5, the Q4 steel frame is not too bulky for effective concealment and is not necessarily intended for the mass market, but instead seen as a refined, striker-fired carry gun. The Q4SF sports a 4-inch barrel, which is considered the ideal size for a general-use defensive pistol, striking a balance between concealability and functionality. The frame was also pre-shaped for reduced printing and snag-free carry. The pistol also includes a one-piece wraparound grip with medium strength honeycomb texturing. Further refining the design for defensive use, the slide was retooled with the Q5SF's through cuts replaced with forward serrations. The gun's weight distribution was also adjusted to prevent it from being excessively muzzle heavy. Finally, the Q4SF is compatible with various red dot sights, with Walther now producing plates with built-in rear sights. The gun was tested with Trigicon RMR and both current iterations of Hollison, concluding that the 507C seemed to print less than the 508T and was thus chosen for everyday carry or EDC testing. Number 5. SIG P226 the SIG P226 is a legendary 9mm handgun. After barely losing to the Beretta M9 to become the United States military's sidearm of choice, it bounced back as the choice of the elite Navy SEALs. The SIG P226 is an all-metal frame, double or single-action semi-automatic handgun. The SIG P226's all-steel construction makes recoil an absolute non-issue. The SIG P226 soaks it up like a champ and allows you to rapidly fire the weapon accurately. The SEALs recognized the potential for this weapon when they adopted it. Modern SIG P226s come equipped with a Picatinny rail to attach accessories, and some are now even coming from the factory with red dot sights installed. SIG has continued to update the P226 over the years and keep it relevant for the tactical user. The SIG P226 does not rely on manual safety, but relies on the long initial double action trigger to prevent accidental discharges. The SIG does have a prominent decocker that allows you to lower the hammer safely and instantly and set the gun into double action. The weapons feel amazing in the hand, and both the double action and single action triggers are smooth and predictable. The single action is remarkably crisp and delivers a short and tactile reset. Reliability is often off the charts and the weapon is well known to work around the world regardless of the harshness around it. The weapon is very accurate and the excellent trigger contributes to the user's ability to hit the target. Most models come with the SIG's excellent SIG light night sights which are combat oriented and effective regardless of the light level. The weapon can handle anywhere from 15 to 20 round magazines to give the appropriate amount of firepower when needed. The SIG P226 is an outstanding combat handgun and will continue to serve far and wide. From the front lines to guarding the front door, the SIG P226 has you covered. Number 4. Heckler & Koch P7 Series The H&K P7 was a pistol designed to replace the 7.65mm caliber pistols used by West German police in the 1970s. The requirements for this new pistol included a 9mm caliber weighing of no more than 35 ounces, dimensions not exceeding 7.08 inches by 5.11 inches by 1.33 inches, full ambidexterity, safe carriage with a loaded chamber, quick draw and fire capabilities, and a service life of at least 10,000 rounds. The unique feature of the P7 series is its squeeze cocker grip, 
which functions as a safety mechanism and allows the pistol to be safely carried with a loaded chamber. In addition to this, the pistol's design has natural pointing ability, excellent balance, low bore axis, and inherent accuracy due to its fixed barrel design. Testing showed that the P7 had a softer recoil compared to other compact locked breech pistols. It ran smoothly with various bullet weights and types, demonstrating a preference for hot 50 grain Liberty ammo. The P7 yielded tight groupings at 25 yards, with 5-shot group ranging from 1.5 to 1.7 inches. Field stripping the P7 is straightforward, but the piston and cylinder need special attention when cleaning. The P7 series includes other variants like the P7M8 and P7M13, which have higher capacities. Despite being an old-school pistol, the P7 still holds its own and is regarded as a desirable piece for pistol enthusiasts. Number 3. IWI Jericho 941 the Jericho 941 is a robust, semi-automatic, locked breech, short recoil operated pistol with a 16 round magazine capacity. It features a steel frame, making it suitable as a service pistol or home defense firearm, despite its size being potentially too large for concealed carry. Notable features include good drift adjustment, combat style three dot sights, a low bore axis, and a minimal slide height due to the slide's design which nests within the frame. Disassembly is facilitated by two recessed circular dimples on the left rear of the slide and frame, allowing for relatively easy field stripping. The 4.4-inch CRMOV steel barrel locks up in browning fashion and is accompanied by a steel guide rod and a recoil spring assembly. The frame and stocks provide a comfortable grip with mildly aggressive serrations on the back strap and front strap. A section of Picatinny rail on the frame's dust cover allows for accessory attachment, and the nose of the pistol is beveled to ease reholstering. The Jericho functions with a magazine release button and a manual thumb safety, both located on the left side of the frame. It offers a loaded chamber indicator atop the slide and allows for either Condition 1 carry or traditional double-action, single-action operation. Number 2. Beretta 92FS the Beretta 92FS is one of the most reliable and battle-tested firearms on the market. It has been in production since 1975 and has been used by military and police forces around the world. It is a gun known for its durability and accuracy. The open-top design and delayed blowback system make this gun virtually indestructible, making it a favorite among law enforcement and military personnel. The 92FS is a traditional double-action, single-action pistol with a 15 plus 15 round capacity. It features an ambidextrous safety decocker and a reversible magazine release. The slide is made from forged carbon steel and the frame is made from aluminum alloy. The barrel is cold hammer forged and chrome lined and the sights are adjustable for windage and elevation. The gun comes with two magazines, a hard case, a cleaning rod, and a gun lock. If you're looking for a metal frame semi-auto pistol that will stand up to any challenge, the Beretta 92FS is the perfect choice. Number 1. CZ-75 The label CZ-75 represents a broad family of pistols produced by CZ. This includes variations such as the CZ SP-01, a CZ 9mm handgun that shares the foundational designs of the CZ-75 but with the added feature of a rail. All designs based on the CZ-75 offer excellent service due to their adherence to the principles that made the original CZ-75 so legendary. The CZ-75 features an all-metal frame. While this may add to its weight, it contributes significantly to recoil absorption, far more than what you would experience with polymer frames. The CZ-75 is a hammer-fired weapon that can be operated in either double or single action, giving the user the option to choose what suits them best. Depending on personal preference, the weapon can feature either a safety or a decocker. One of the defining features of the CZ-75 is the innovative design of its slide rails, which are ingeniously located inside the frame. This results in the positioning of the bore much lower than what one would typically find in an average handgun. The upshot of this is a significant reduction in muzzle flip, which in turn provides the control and accuracy of rapid-fire sequences, setting it apart from the competition. Ergonomically, the CZ-75 shines. It feels incredibly natural in the hand, aided by a slim grip that conceals a magazine capable of holding 16 rounds of 9mm ammunition. 
The smoothness of the trigger pull contributes to a predictable and crisp brake, especially when operated in a single action. Its ability to be holstered easily is comparable to that of the CZ's cousin, the 1911, supporting both IWB and OWB carrying. The modern CZ-75 is a weapon of choice across Europe, favored by both police and military forces due to its reliability and performance. It also has a strong following among competition shooters around the world, who appreciate its very smooth shooting capability and minimal recoil. While the CZ-75 might be a bit large and heavy for concealed carry, it excels as a weapon of choice for home defense and competition. The design is well suited for speed shooting and can withstand heavy use. Its classic design harkens back to the golden days of muscle cars and steel handguns, marking it as a truly timeless firearm. That concludes our overview of the top metal frame semi-auto pistols. We hope you found this presentation useful and informative. If so, please give it a thumbs up. We we truly appreciate your support. We're eager to hear from you. Which metal frame semi-auto pistol has piqued your interest? Feel free to share in the comment section below. Thank you for your time spent with us on this video. If it was beneficial and you enjoyed it, don't forget to hit the like button. And to ensure you don't miss out on any of our future content, do subscribe to the channel.